BlizzCon 2017 had a lot of new Overwatch announcements, including a brand new amusement park map, Blizzard World, and to everyone's surprise, a brand new hero. To the shadows. Meet Moira, the talent physicist who's part scientist, part anime, part David Bowie, and gives just as much as she takes. Now, what I mean by that is that she's a hybrid DPS healer and possesses a moveset that requires you to deal damage in order to heal. Overwatch has been hurting for a good support hero for a long time, and thankfully Moira fills that void of a decent healer with enough utility to sometimes prop the team up on her shoulders. There are a lot of little details with her, so let's get started, shall we? What a nightmare. Moira! Her primary and secondary fire make up the ability known as Biotic Grasp. You'll be using these two skills the most, so you'll want to make sure you understand the nuances of using them. Their primary fire will shower friendly targets in front of you with a frothy yellow, um, let's call it healing juice. It heals at a rate of 80 health per second, as well as a small heal over time afterwards. Biotic Grasp doesn't use ammo in the traditional sense, like Ana's rifle, but instead uses an energy bar that slowly refills after use. It'll provide about 9 seconds worth of non-stop healing and can heal multiple targets at once, making it really good when your team is in a cluster near a choke point. But since your energy recharges very slowly, you'll want to alternate using it with your secondary fire, which will help replenish it. It looks similar to Life Drain, healing Moira as you deal damage and will lock onto an enemy from 20 meters out. It may not track as well as uh, Symmetra's vacuum cleaner, you know, you shouldn't be jumping around too much, but the range of the beam is surprisingly long, and I suggest dealing damage from the back lines as often as possible. Biotic Grasp may be her bread and butter skill, but what makes Moira really interesting are her biotic orbs that she can launch. You'll be able to send out floating balls similar to Symmetra's energy ball that will either damage or heal nearby players depending on what type of orb you choose. Initially, they travel quickly to their destination, but upon making contact with the player, friendly or otherwise, they will slow down significantly to get the job done. The orbs will also bounce off walls, adding another layer of strategy when sending them towards people. So if you see an enemy hiding behind a corner or up a stairwell, you can lob an orb in their direction and chase them away. It's all about how you use the geometry of the maps in your favor and while staying safe behind cover. Hanzo, eat your heart out. And speaking of staying safe, you'll be glad to know that Moira has a great mobility option with her Fade. Taking a page out of both Reaper's and Tracer's books, Fade acts as a quick dash that makes Moira invulnerable to damage and healing, and causes her to disappear from sight for a second. From the opponent's perspective, it can be pretty disorienting to try and find you after a Fade, so use it to disengage from fights whenever you feel threatened. Moira may be able to drain life, but with only 200 health points, she's still pretty squishy. And since Fade is technically a dash, there are opportunities for some clever movement. So to recap, Moira's got a life drain, a teleport, bouncing death orbs, what's left? Oh, that's right, a giant beam that destroys everything in her path. Okay, well that's not exactly true. It heals as well. Coalescence is Moira's ultimate ability, and it's a doozy. A massive beam will fire out of her hand, damaging foes and healing allies within your crosshairs, as well as granting a small passive heal and speed increase for yourself. Again, this ability excels in narrow hallways or anywhere teams bunch up. It can chase people away from payloads, cut them off at a capture point, or simply push them back at a choke. However, the healing on Coalescence doesn't quite match Zenyatta's Transcendence, and you do still need to aim at friendly targets. So if you're the only support class, you'll want to prioritize replenishing your team's health over dealing damage. The Overwatch community wanted a healer, and Moira more than fills that role. With tools that will no doubt intrigue support mains and damage dealers alike, I think she'll fit right into the current meta just fine. Because of the range on many of her attacks, you'll want to stay far back behind any tanks or frontline damage dealers, and mainly come out to poke with your Biotic Grasp. Using Fade to escape any pressure and Biotic Orbs to sneak in damage will keep your opponents guessing your position and questioning their own. Moira's role as a support lands her somewhere between Zenyatta and Ana, so if you've gravitated more towards healers with offensive utility, you're bound to feel right at home with her. That's all I've got for Moira. I hope you found this guide useful, and don't forget to check out our other guides for every other Overwatch hero. The list just keeps on growing, so check back whenever the next character hits, and I'll see you guys in the next video.